Hey friends, I am Indrajit here back with a new tech video. Today I am gonna to explain you about a machine learning, a very interesting topic in computer. So just to have you wonder about how the Google classify the good mails and the spam mails. Just whenever you log in into a Google account, the spam mails are aside and the good mails are another side. Just when you translate a language to another language using Google Translator, the Google Translate more than 100 plus language within a second. So just whenever you type the language from one to, or it will be converted into language which you want within a fraction of milliseconds. Some companies are making a self-driving car. So there is a very less chance of accidents and the driver are not required in this car. Do you think how these are all possible? Yeah, that's very simple. It is possible only through machine learning. So what is the work of machine learning? So machine learning is a very deep concept which is used to solve the problem which cannot be solved by human or by another progr programming languages. So the machine learning was implemented here. So what is the machine learning? So machine learning is a very simple concept of artificial intelligence so that's the in artificial intelligence the machine can learn by itself and improve its experience by the data what is getting as a input second one the machine learning does not want to feed the program again and again it can just gather the information and learn by itself and move to another level so the history of machine learning it was found by Arthur Samuel in the year 1959. So just why he found the machine learning was to recognize a pattern. That's very, so what is the use of pattern? So the pattern is recognized so the components or thing can be easily understood by the computer. And third one, the pattern was recognized and set by a algorithm. It was fit in as a data through algorithms. So how machine learning works? So mail filters spam mail and non-spam mails. So how it filters? Just whenever you, you receive a call from a office, you will be using a true caller app, right? So just when it is a fake call, you will be marking as a spam. So the machine learning works there. So what it does, so the number of users marking a phone number as a spam means it is registering as a spam the so same year the google does for spamming or a mail whether it's good or unused one second finding the object of all the aspects so there are some applications available here just whenever you don't know about the object you focus the camera and you will be getting all the information about the object so the about the object it is already fetched in the database next one the transaction is true or false so in a fraction of minute or millisecond thousands of transactions are done in the bank from one bank to another but it is very difficult for human to find which transaction is true and which one is the fraud one in this the machine learning machine learning can find this transaction within a fraction of millisecond and fourth one is product rating so just whenever you move on a website you will be viewing the product rating for this phone that phone or whatever may be the product here did you know how this product working works here is through machine learning the number of users giving one star the number of users giving two star three star and four star according to the the product is rated nowadays so uses of machine learning just you have ever think that why another language are not good than machine learning because the work done by machine learning are cannot done by another programming language just assume you are going to type a program to find these are all the chairs so just what we'll be doing here just you'll be writing a program that the chair has four leg and some shapes and color so can you see another chair which is having one two three five legs here and this is another model of chair and this is another model of chair so it is very difficult for human to write a program for each and every component so in this machine learning comes here just you will be taking all the aspects of the chair and you will be feeding in input as a data and whenever just you recognize it the 
computer collects the information and just it compares through the list in the database and the database best matches information source here right so just we are going to see how machine learning works here yeah the machine learning works with a very simple concept that is data data is everything data is oxygen for everyone right so just the input information whatever you give in the machine it gets input and recognizes it recognizes and matches the database which is already fed into the computer according to the database it gives a uh, output that is predicted output once more i am saying that is predicted output because a computer cannot give the output which is 100% accurate right here so just if you want to learn machine le machine learning what are all the languages you have to know so to learn machine language you have to learn python so python the best for beginner and the advanced level programming language which is which is very modern used mostly in everything so, so the second one is our programming language so what is the our programming language means that's a runtime programming language that's good programming language and understandable but that's very slow third one is matlab matlab is also a programming language which is used to recognize the detections or recognize the algorithms so that's very good one but costly one and last one is and the last one is julia so that's very best programming language with many new libraries and implemented everywhere right here so what is ml needs to predict what does machine le learning needs to predict the data it need a large information of data how the machine learning works so just whatever may be the component you are giving input it compares with the already data which is present in the database and gives the output as the predicted one next what is the scope of machine learning so just according to technology if you are updated you have the value if you are not updated you will be thinking that i will be surviving with the old stuffs it is very difficult for you here so the scope of machine learning here in the last 3 years the three times more the job opportunities are given to the artificial intelligence and it is predicted that the machine learning will increase the job the six times greater in the future so next one the applications of machine learning so what is the real time application so face detection just whenever you go and take your photo and fetch into the database or save into the database did you know how your face is saved in the database not as your picture but as a pattern recognized on your face second one is object detection whenever you see your object which is unknown to you just you will be taking the app and recognizing the app object so how that object works it recognizes the object and match in the database the best match of the object information displays here third one is image segmentation so the main aim of image segmentation is to recognize the best pattern on the image which will be very simple for computer to understand and the last one is economical and commercial use in economical and commercial use everything depends on data so just the data collected of the last 10 years or 50 years is fed into the database and it can predict the future of everything such as market or the share values too so that is used in economical and commercial use and thank you so this was a very interesting i think so this was a very interesting about machine learning if this is very useful for you like the video and subscribe the channel don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get the notification about the further videos for any queries you can contact me at the link given in description and if you need a powerpoint the link is given in description thank you friends